Greetings Car Fanatics, today I'm going to be doing a more in-depth review of my 2008 Porsche Cayenne Turbo. I'm actually going to show you all the kind of weird and cool features the car has that most people will not know right off the bat. So let's go ahead and get started. The first kind of hidden option on the car that you need to learn about is the convenience entry button. So it's this little button over here, but when you turn it on it actually raises the steering wheel and moves the seat when you get out of the car and also when you get back in just to make it a little bit easier so let's go ahead and enable this and let's see what it looks like so i'm gonna mess with the key over here all right you see the steering wheel going in and that's just to make it easier to get out and then when i put the key in it comes back out additionally when I open the door, let's see what happens. Okay, I'm going to take the key out. And the seat moves back for you as well. So kind of a nifty feature over here. So while we're looking at the steering wheel, let's take a look at some other weird button on the steering wheel. So let's see if this is going to show up. All right, right behind the steering wheel, you have these little buttons over here and it's not really clear what the buttons are for at first and it's really kind of pointless why you have these buttons here so it's hard to see right now in the daytime but all those buttons do is either turn on the backlighting for all these buttons over here or turn it off so it's really interesting that Porsche has a button right here and one on the other side solely a turn on just the lights on the steering wheel pretty quirky i don't know why porsche needs to do that but that's something the porsche cayenne has so the next thing we're going to look at is this sos button now i don't have the phone set up for the telephone or anything like that but i've pressed this button on accident before and it actually does work so let's see what happens when i press the button it asks if i want to make an emergency call and if I actually hold down the button it will actually call 911 don't ask me how I know but it's pretty interesting that you don't actually have to have the uh, sim card in or the telephone set up this will automatically use whatever network is available in the area and call 911 kind of a cool feature if you actually need the help or if you get in an accident and you can't get your phone you have that button over there another cool feature is in the glove box it's pretty hidden but you have this little button over here and that's actually for the glove box you can actually refrigerate the glove box now it doesn't get super cold or anything like that but you can actually turn this on and that's going to keep whatever you have in the glove box a little cooler than it normally would it has its own little system here that will route the AC into the glove box. So kind of a neat little feature there. Moving on to some other things. I think it's kind of cool that the uh, Cayenne has a little sunglass holder here. It actually works really well. So you can put your sunglasses there. Kind of a cool feature. Now the sun visors. You don't just have one sun visor, but you have two. So you have a second one up there, but this one basically is going to allow you to put that to the side. And this one will flip down and voila, you have a sun visor for the front and for the side. This is the case for the driver's side as well. One sun visor and your second one right here. So kind of a cool thing that Porsche does. So moving on to some other buttons and features in the car. If you look down here, we actually have a trunk button. So I can control the trunk from inside the car and open it. Let's check it out. So it's important to note that I cannot close the trunk from inside the car. This is probably for safety purposes, but now I have to hop out of the car for a second and close the trunk. All right, and let's take a look at some other features and weird buttons on the car. Um, gonna have to move the seat back probably for this one. 
All right, bear with me here. All right, so you see this little button over here. It's uh, just to the left of the driver's seat. Now this is actually the sensor for the alarm that detects motion in the car. I can't actually tell when it's on or when it's off, but when it's on and I have my dog in the car and I run inside the store, the alarm automatically goes off. Uh, so you have to figure out how to turn that off to actually turn off the motion sensor inside the car. But that does mean you can park with the windows down and if someone tries to reach into your car and steal something, this is going to help deter that person. So while we're on it, let's just look at some of the uh, buttons here uh, for adjusting the seat. Now, you have this little button here that shows up and down, and you might think that would be to move the seat up, but it's not. It is actually to adjust the um, seat belt. So if I want to move the seat belt up, I can just mess with that button. Let's look at it. Or I can move that seat belt down. I don't know how often someone needs to move the seat belt, but that's kind of a nifty kind of useless feature on the Porsche Cayenne Turbo. I guess that's what $100,000 gets you. Now let's move to the back of the car. The back of the car has some interesting features. Ugh. So one, you got these uh, AC vents right here that can point directly at you. That's kind of cool. Um, but in terms of comfort, for my particular model, you have the four-way climate control. So each person gets their own climate setting. In addition, you have seat warmers in the back. So you can turn on the seat warmers or turn them off. That's pretty cool. All right, and the final feature I forgot to highlight when I was looking at the steering wheel is the fact that you have a heated steering wheel. So the steering wheel will automatically heat itself when it's below a certain temperature. I usually find right around 55 degrees or so, the steering wheel will automatically heat itself. And this is really nice when you get in the car and it's cold outside. The steering wheel is warm to the touch. Um, so that's a pretty cool feature. All right, car fanatics, so after living with the 2008 Porsche Cayenne Turbo for over a year now, I've gotten to know all these little buttons and wanted to highlight the kind of unique yet quirky features on the Porsche Cayenne Turbo. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Leave any questions or comments below.